What you guys got another video here for you. In this one we're going to be taking a look at a free program called Wind Patrol. Now Wind Patrol has been out for quite a while um, and they also have a, a plus version which gives you some extra features and we'll cover that a little bit later on in a video. But you can get Wind Patrol from windpatrol.com and uh, it works on all operating systems as you can see here and what it does is it basically acts as a layered security and gives you that a little bit more protection it monitors your system and see if there's any changes and you can actually deny any changes or you can say notify me if there is any sort of changes which is ideal if you're going to get any sort of uh, junkware like toolbars and stuff trying to get onto the system you can add in uh, blocks for those in the plus version but there is a free version you can use okay um, but the plus version isn't that much anyway but it is a pretty awesome program and they make lots of updates uh, regularly okay anyway so let's get on with the video as you can see here this is Wind Patrol Plus, uh, but we'll go through uh, everything here you see is um, free, but the registry monitoring is not free. Now you may be able to hear a lot of noise in the background, I do apologise for that, but it is so hot here and the windows are open. Anyway, so as you can see here we've got startup programs and what you can do here is dis uh, delay uh, the startup uh, location and that's in advanced mode. You can just put the tick in here and you can then go through that um, procedure there you've got a little helpful information here also you've got a timer here you can click on this and this gives you the uh, timer that you want to set for the real-time monitor and it will let you know um, if there's any changes okay in that amount of time that you set and you can change these for every single one of these little tabs the information part will take you to the website and again this will give you some information about the area that we're looking at here the startup program area okay now also on these here you can see uh, we have got a list of programs and you can right click on these say for instance like this and you can get info for this and this will open up the info tab and there's no icon as you can see you can kill this task uh, expand the info if you wish and it will give you a bit more information about that uh, file and what it's doing you can also uh, scroll through by hitting these tabs here but there's another little bit here which goes uh, plus info you click on that and what that's going to do if you're a little bit more um, worried about what it is it opens up and it tries to give you the information of what it is and you can see here it gives you the link and loads of information about what that file is and what it's doing on your system okay and you can submit uh, some information here okay which helps them out as well so that gives them feedback so let me just close this off so that is the startup area and as you can see so when you right click on here you can uh, do some more stuff like uh, explore uh, the program in that folder and it will take you to the location on your system where that file is great for rooting out stuff that you don't want on your system and going to the location you can also uh, add uh, an open program properties uh, and this will just open them up like so and uh, there's also some other features here you can do you can remove disable delete on reboot which is a great feature and uh, you can also have a look at the uh, wind patrol log of that file as well okay let me just open it up and then you can see the log file for that okay okay so let's have a look at uh, another area as you can see this delayed startup this is another delayed startup you can add in your delay options here and you can also add and remove those in those items in there and you've got your help button here you've got your ie helpers which is all your stuff that gets into your uh, browser so like this is your browser helper stuff so if you it for instance add something like um some little add-ons that you're adding into your browser this is where they'd all be and you can add and remove these from here if you wish okay you can also get information and all that good stuff and it also tells you the path where they're located and you can also right click and do all this sort of stuff as well on this location explore the program have a look at the info and delete on reboot uh, schedule tasks again this is what's running in your schedules so anything inside here will be uh, scheduled to run and you can either remove this if you wish remove from that scheduled list 
you can set up timers for this location to check that area regularly so you can see it's been set to uh, check this area for 11 minutes every 11 minutes you can make it longer or shorter depending on what you want to do okay services again this is another area which uh, Scotty monitors it monitors the services area and again you can have the tick inside here which says uh, listen on Microsoft services only which is an important thing to do uh, it's a much better thing to do but you can see here we've got loads of stuff here and if you didn't want to uh, if you wanted to look at something what it is and what it's doing you can just do the same old stuff right click and uh, look at all this information okay again you can monitor this by changing the time here monitor in real time so it's as it happens it's got the tick in there so as as it's that happening on the system it will monitor as it's happening okay again you've got your information button there if you, uh, if you want to click on that for that particular thing okay let's move on to the next tab options okay so tool tips default you can change this to balloon and stuff like that so they pop up you can uh, put in some information here sound play sound and stuff like that pretty self-explanatory stuff as well and uh, you've got hide alerts repair um, and reset tools here you've also got your view your host file which is normally locked out but you can see you can access that export settings so you can export save all your settings and export them view your history and uh, look at a hijack log if you wish and that will give you a log of what's been going on on your system as well which is a great feature um, you've also got a spreadsheet report and also a wind patrol log so we've also got the registry monitoring which we was talking about earlier on and again you can add in your registry locations and you can see here we've got it for HK local machine software Microsoft uh, security center firewall and it's going to monitor anything that tries to change these features now malware likes to change and disable these you can see we've got system restore in here and it will monitor that location and you can have as much information in here as you want or as little uh, depending on which way you want to set it up but you can see here if something tries to disable uh, the system restore it will notify me and alert me straight away okay great feature for adding in uh, specific locations that malware likes to attack and you've got suggestions here again and uh, you've got your right click features here uh, the right click features for this one is remove add suggestions uh, unlock you will be alerted if there's any changes or you can just lock that area down completely which won't even warn you it will just stop anything from trying to change it okay and it won't even bother warning you so you can do that with say system restore okay active edge uh, active x is uh, pretty self-explanatory so I'm not going to spend too much time on some of these other ones because I've been I'll be repeating myself but as you can see you've got um, active tasks which is uh, again the same sort of thing really you can sort of work that one out yourself kill task info all the same sort of stuff but generally uh, as you can see here we've got file types these are your file uh, associated uh, association files these are associated to this location so if these have been changed you can uh, remove add and all that sort of stuff okay and you can set the timer to monitor how often you want it to monitor that area again so I'm sounding like I'm repeating myself a little bit but there you go so hidden uh, files is another good area uh, to look at as well but basically uh, that's it in a nutshell really uh, you can work this one out yourself install it have a little play with it it's a great little tool uh, to have on your system um, it's it does run along other side uh, other programs like um, firewalls and viruses and virus programs and malwarebytes pro and there's no problems at all okay it doesn't take much resources to run and it will be on the system working away there okay so I'm gonna wrap this one up because I am absolutely roasting and I want to get back out into the garden so anyway guys have a great weekend my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk I hope you enjoy these videos if you do then hit that like button guys it really does help me out also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos so all I can say is have a great weekend don't get too drunk and I will see you again in the next video thanks again for watching bye for now